As Bitcoin's price soars, BlackRock's Bitcoin ETF is taking on new capital so fast that they're breaking records when it comes to daily inflows. Italy appeared to be backtracking on their recent proposal to raise capital gains tax on Bitcoin to 42%, and Bitcoin's market cap has now overtaken silver, making it the seventh largest asset on the planet. Welcome back to Bitcoin News, brought to you by Coin Corner. I'm your host, Alex Glass, and let's get straight into this week's top stories. What an insane week as Bitcoin officially takes off into price discovery mode. After breaking new all-time highs last week of $76,000, over the weekend, Bitcoin's price has continued to surge, reaching highs of $80,000. But throughout the week, momentum has continued to grow, with the price now blasting past $90,000, and it's on its way to $100,000 per coin. These gains equate to around 20% just since the start of this week, but since Trump's election win, a total of around 35%. During this chaos, one big buyer of Bitcoin is the world's largest asset manager, BlackRock, who have made history after drawing in $1.1 billion of capital into their spot Bitcoin ETF in a single day. And this marks the highest daily inflow in Bitcoin ETF history. But it wasn't just BlackRock who could celebrate. The US Bitcoin ETFs cumulatively also saw the highest daily inflow in a single day. According to data from Coinglass, on the 7th of November last week, the combined inflow hit $1.37 billion, with large inflows also being added to Fidelity, Bitwise and Arc's Bitcoin ETFs. These unprecedented inflows could be a signal that there's been a shift in institutional investment strategies following Trump's win, and a growing institutional demand. But typically, just as this milestone was reached, BlackRock's ETF hit another record this week, according to Bloomberg senior ETF analyst Eric Baltunis, who posted this on X. iBit has now hit the $40 billion asset mark, a mere two weeks after hitting $30 billion. In a record 211 days, annihilating the previous record of 1,253 days, held by IEMG, it's now in the top 1% of all ETFs by assets. And at just 10 months old, it's bigger than all 2,800 ETFs launched in the past 10 years. Now, moving on from the ETFs, looking at Bitcoin itself, following this huge price rise, its market cap has now reached $1.8 trillion. And that means it's overtaken silver, putting it at the seventh largest asset on the planet. Due to Bitcoin's volatility, this is not the first time that it's overtaken silver's market cap. But there is now such a positive sentiment surrounding the asset after the US election, could this be the last time? If Bitcoin breaks past $113,000 per coin, it could overtake both Google and Amazon, who are the next in line. However, Bitcoin's target has always really been gold, as they both offer similar store of value properties. That said, gold is currently the world's most valuable asset, holding a $17 trillion market cap, which is nearly 10 times that of Bitcoin. If Bitcoin were to overtake gold, that would give each coin a value of almost $1 million. Exciting as this sounds, industry experts are unanimous in stating that it could take several years for Bitcoin to reach this lofty goal, with Jack Dorsey suggesting that it could happen before the end of this decade. Also in the news, the Italian government, who recently announced plans to raise tax on Bitcoin to 42%, appear to be backtracking that decision amid industry concerns. The original proposal outlined in the October budget draft planned to raise tax on crypto to 42%, up from the existing 26%. This aggressive move was designed to increase tax revenue as Italy works to stabilise its public finances. However, industry advocates and crypto executives have since cautioned a tax rise this high, suggesting it might deter investment and hurt Italy's ability to compete in the EU. As a compromise, the government has proposed capping the crypto tax rate to 28%, which is now just a 2% rise. Although this proposal has gained support across the government, it remains subject to final approval and could see further amendments before implementation. Now two countries who have been far more positive towards Bitcoin are El Salvador and Bhutan. And following this week's price rise, they have both benefited greatly. El Salvador, who despite receiving widespread criticism from the rest of the world and organisations like the IMF, have been buying Bitcoin since 2021 when they made the digital currency legal tender. And today the value of their Bitcoin holding has now surpassed $500 million. Amazing as this is, Bhutan's success story may be even more impressive. The tiny South Asian state, with a population of just 800,000 versus El Salvador's 6.4 million, is now sitting on a Bitcoin stash of over 12,000 tokens, now worth $1.1 billion. 
To put that into perspective, the value of Bhutan's Bitcoin holding amounts to more than one third of the country's GDP of just under $3 billion. Whereas El Salvador's still hugely impressive $500 million holding amounts to just 1.5% of GDP. It's reported that Bhutan's vast holding has been accumulated through Bitcoin mining, making use of the country's abundant hydroelectric power. And according to Arkham, they are likely to be the fourth biggest nation state Bitcoin holder in the world. For our final story, the AI powered educational company Genesis Group have announced plans to use Bitcoin as their primary reserve asset. According to the company, the board of directors have approved a new strategy that will commit 90% or more of all current and future reserves to Bitcoin. They will also utilize its $150 million at the market facility to acquire up to $120 million in Bitcoin for long-term holding, launch a Bitcoin education series, and enable Bitcoin payments on its global education platform. This bold move from Genesis is great to see, and it's another example of how companies can really benefit from holding Bitcoin on their balance sheets. But that is all we have for you today. So as always, make sure to hit that subscribe button down below, and I'll see you next week with more Bitcoin news. Bitcoin news.